MLB Network's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today, the third and final game in this three-game series between the Boston Red Sox and the New York Yankees. The Yanks look for the series sweep at home against their division rivals. First pitch is next. Jordan Montgomery, a hurler from South Carolina, will be the starting pitcher in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matt, five full innings for this guy in his last one. You couldn't really consider that a powerhouse outing. He was able to get a no decision, but I'm sure he and the team are looking for a lot more in this one today. And here's Jose Peraza, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Jose Peraza. First offering on its way. Underway now in the Sunday finale as the first pitch today is taken for strike one. Well, this Yankee ball club entering play this afternoon here. They've been hot of late, winners in four straight. Yeah, Matty, without question. We, they find themselves in this position today. They got a chance to sweep the series on Sunday and make it a miraculous weekend. Boy, Dior, it's always a nice way to finish off a weekend. You win a big game on Saturday, and to close it off with a win here and a sweep on Sunday would really be sweet for this ball club. This is flared out towards second. Throws in time, and that's out number one. The white fielder, number 99, Alex Verdugo. Striding in for Boston, Alex Verdugo. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Nope. This one's outside, quite a bit off the plate that time. Our game time temperature here to start play a balmy 86 degrees at first pitch. The 1-0. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Bases are empty, one man out. Hey. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. And there are our umpires for this one. Working the plate is Dave Lawrence. Dan, we got Dave Lawrence behind the dish tonight. One of the best in the business, in my opinion, but sometimes has a tendency to fall into a pattern where he's given a little bit too much on that outside corner. Yeah, D-Road, one of the things he'll do, he'll open up that outside corner, especially with left-handed batters. J.D. Martinez. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. You see the great batting average coming in. 31 homers and 79 RBIs. Here it comes, 1-0. Lays off the fastball away, and it's 2-0. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four-pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. Three and one to Martinez. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. He's able to ride this one high and deep toward right center. Gardner going back. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. Solo shot to right center. 32 now for the season. As the Red Sox get the game's first run, it's one to nothing. way to get things started while playing on the road top of the first and a big fly just like that they take the lead it's 
So here's the Boston cleanup hitter, Xander Bogarts. As he begins this one as the fourth leading hitter in the American League. This guy's had a super season so far, and we're well into the baseball season, so this isn't a fluke. He's been swinging the bat great all year. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. A ball hit softly on a line to third. But little trouble handling this one down there at third as that will end the inning. The Red Sox are on the board thanks to the solo home run. Bottom of the first coming up, and it's 1-0 Boston. Nate Evaldi gets the ball for the Red Sox in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, we're going to get a chance to look at a guy that uh, is a little bit up and down throughout points of his career. A career ERA just over four. When he's good, he can be really good. And when he's bad, well, let's just say he can be pretty bad at times. But it'll be interesting to see which one we see. He's a little bit of Jekyll and Hyde. Hopefully he's going to be a little bit more Jekyll than Hyde in this one here today. Next for New York, Gio Urshela. As we take a look there at the difference in his numbers between June and July. Here's the first pitch to him. Here no, Too low with the curveball. One ball, no strikes. Well, these Red Sox entering play here this afternoon. They came up a little short last time out, but they've still been one of the hotter teams around, winning eight of their last ten ball games. Yeah, Matty, this team has been playing really well right now, and, and, and this is case in point. Chance to jump out again to another 1-0 lead. They've really been doing that. They've been on attack, early offensive, almost ambush-like approaches to their at-bats, and it's working for them. The third baseman, Miguel Andujar. Stepping up to the plate, Miguel Andujar. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. First pitch of the at bat. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. But it bends just foul into the second deck. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. Pretty textbook pitching right That's there. Jump good. ahead and account 0-2 the and then start working DJ. outside the zone. Easier well, said than done, you. but that's the way you do it. And that sends DJ LeMayhew into the box. As he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. Looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Two out, nobody on. One and two to DJ LeMayhew. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Into center field, line drive base hit. So two out success means that Aaron Judge gets to swing it here. Well, when you're going as well as he is, not even a two-strike count is going to get in your way. Yeah, Matty, he's having a monster season, well over 300. Right there, when you're feeling that confident at the plate, it doesn't matter what the count is. You're willing to go deep and still feel confident. Striding forward now, the Yankee cleanup hitter, Aaron Judge. He enters this one second in the American League in round trippers. And not surprisingly, he's also near the top of the league in slugging percentage, which means not every ball's leaving the yard. A lot of extra base hits in this guy's arsenal. First delivery to him on the way. In there, strike one. Hey, I know the tying runs at first right here, but if the pitcher on the mound executes, keeps the ball in play, I think good things are going to happen.
Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot now, hitting with two strikes. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. Well, there's the classic 0-2 wasted fastball. Not even close to the zone. We'll see what he throws on the next pitch. Hit well on the ground to first. And Moreland will take this one to the back himself, and the side is retired. I think a few of these folks need to get out of the sun. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Next up for the Red Sox, Rafael Devers. And he enters play today, currently fifth in the American League in hitting. This guy's having a really good year for his age, but this is something we've seen a lot lately. Young players coming up and impacting a lineup. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. High in the air out to center field. Gardner will wait on it. One pitch, one away. Batting fifth, the center fielder, number five, Kevin Pillar. So the base is empty here with one away, and that'll bring up a man who's a human highlight reel defensively, Kevin Pillar. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Here's a bouncing ball headed to LeMahieu at second. In time to first, and there are two away. The catcher, Christian Vasquez. Striding in, Christian Vasquez. He's yet to get into the hit column in the series. 0 for 7. Here comes the first pitch. Hit hard to the right, but foul. Today's contest is, of course, the finale of the series, and the home side has dominated so far. They've got the opportunity to complete the sweep with a win in this one. And this could be a wake-up call for this first-place team. No team in first place likes to get swept, so this could be a key game and also a key game in a divisional series. Grounded up the first baseline, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. And one thing that would certainly help their cause in going for the sweep is if they can break out the big bats like they did yesterday. Several. Holes. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Red Sox go down one, two, three. And after an inning and a half, it's one to nothing. That'll bring up Glaber Torres. He had a homer in the ball game yesterday afternoon. Outfield shaded a bit to left center. The first pitch. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Back goes Martinez. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Batting fit. No left fielder. Giancarlo. Giancarlo Stanton now. And he's got that batting lineup near the 300 mark entering play. First offering on its way. Good off speed pitch. Had him out in front for strike one. The Yankees had a lot of success at the plate yesterday. A double digit hit total as a team. So they'd like to make that happen again as they go for the sweep. Well, you're playing as well as this team is right now. They've got them right where they want them. They're only down one early in this one. And when you've won a couple of games in a row already, you have that feeling you can certainly come back and win this one. Now another 0-2. 
nope. can't get him to chase. It's one and two. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0 and 2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. That misses, and we're even at 2 and 2. Hey, expect a challenge right here. Does not want to run the count full. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. No offer from Stanton. It's ball four, so he'll head down to first. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys is exactly what we saw right there. Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. Digging in now for the Yankees, Luke Voigt. He comes in after a day of rest yesterday, so we'll see if it did him any good. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hit hard on the ground to the right. And that gets through for a one-out base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Boy, that's one of the, I guess, the advantages of hitting with that hole between first and second base, d -Row. First baseman has to hold that runner on. That leaves that right side wide open. Yeah, and credit the batter right there. Nice piece of hitting right there. Not trying to do too much. He took a look at the defense and saw where it was aligned and tried to beat him. Into the box now, Gary Sanchez. As he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 and 1. Comes into this one at 271. Home runs up to 30 now, and 60 runs batted in. Ready with the 0 1. up the middle and in for a base hit. Stanton is on his way home. He'll score and the Yankees have drawn even. We're all square and one apiece. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner as he takes a called strike on the black. It's 0 and 1. 289 is the average coming in. 10 home runs and 25 driven in. And this one's in the dirt. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. And he takes ball two and it's two and one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Voigt on second. Sanchez, the first one gone. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Pilar's there. And that's the second out of the inning. And this throw gets away from him. But luckily, it doesn't get far enough away to allow the runners to advance. Now batting, number 29. Ready for another chance. Gio Urshela, second at bat now. He grounded out to start the home first. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. A ball and no strikes. He's not having his best outing in this one, and I think that curveball is part of the reason why. He couldn't get on top of that one, and that's not the first time that's happened. The 1-0. Outside with the breaking pitch, and he falls behind it 2-0. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. Three and oh now. I don't blame him for not coming over the harder the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game.
He set the 3 0 offering. And that pitch misses for ball four. So some intrigue now as the bases are loaded here with two away. Well, this guy's been prone to giving up walks and bunches, and that's already two walks here in the early going. We'll see if this continues to be an issue for him as this start continues. So the bases are loaded here. Two men gone. And striding into the plate, it'll be Miguel Andujar. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. by much there but it's just a bit high it often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up just the second inning but already 37 pitches to this point three balls in a strike flirting with a little danger here you fight so hard to get into these type of counts you can't let this pitch get away from you. You have to keyhole something middle of the plate. The three and one pitch. Definitely a big pitch coming up right here. He's going to be pumped if he can work his way out of this inning with the game still tied. Out of the stretch, the 3 2 home. Swung on and hit deep to left center. This one has a chance. And that'll get down out there near the wall. The runner from first crosses the plate, and it's a 4 to 1 game. Base is loaded, and he was looking to drive them all in the second he stepped into the box. Puts a big swing on this thing, and the ball just gets down to the wall, allowing everyone to come around and score. He'll take a three-run double every day of the week. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew, as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. A base hit in his first trip. The 1 0 home. Oh, that's out. He certainly has an open base down there, but you don't want your defender standing flat footed for much longer. Four runs here in this half inning. Hard hit ball to second. On to first, and it's in time as they're finally able to retire him. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate, and they push across four runs. We played two full, the Yankees four, and the Red Sox one. So here's Michael Chavis now. Day off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one. Hey, Michael. we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Owen won the count. And they go right after him here as he swings and misses. Strike two. Woo, not a spot you'd expect a curveball. He's lucky he missed because that's the kind of pitch that gets hit out of the ballpark. Swung on, and this ball is absolutely crushed. Forget about it. Into the second deck and gone.
That ball was absolutely blasted. 113 miles an hour off the bat, according to show track. As you see the distance there, that's one that'll get people talking. Here's the first baseman now, Mitch Moreland. The first baseman. As he swings and grounds it toward the hole. LeMahieu's got it. On to first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. And with one away, time for a check of the standings in the American League East as you get a look at where these two teams find themselves entering play. Stepping into the box, Jose Peraza. One run in and one gone so far this inning. Here's the first pitch to him. One out, nobody on. A ball and a strike. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Ah, had him fooled as he swings through the curveball. Two down. That's a pretty sad attempt at hitting a baseball right there. No doubt he was completely fooled because that was a curveball and it looked like he was late on a curveball. That tells me he gave up on it right till the very end and obviously there was nothing he could do at that point. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Grounded to first, scooped up, and Boyd will take this one over to the bag, and that ends the inning. Red Sox able to get one right back on the solo home run. We play two and a half, the Yankees four, and the Red Sox two. Welcome back as the Yankees prepare for their third turn through the order. Fans of the Bronx Bombers have been treated to quite a bit of production from this lineup so far this year. To start the day, they are ranked among the league leaders in both home runs and slugging percentage. I asked some of the hitters about their approach prior to the game, and they told me it's all about pitch selection. They trust in their talent, so as long as they're picking on good pitches to hit and not getting anxious to swing in the box, they know that will translate into a lot of production. Certainly seems to be working for them this year, guys. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. The right fielder, Aaron. First offering on its way. Aaron Judge is in for the second time here as he looks at a ball high, 1-0. 2-0 oh. oh, now. Too high, and it's three and zero. Oh. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one. But that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a three-zero -oh count. Taking all the way, and it's three and one now. Whoo! That was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. Set to deal. Here's the three-one. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. Yeah, and as a starter, the last thing you want to do is let a team answer when your guys just scored a run for you. So he's thinking ground ball right here to try to get a double play and end this threat. In now is the Yankees' D.H., Torres. He flew out in his last at-bat. 
almost Maddie almost went deep his last AB certainly just missed it with this guy's big power he's feeling pretty good at the dish look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB strike one to start the at bat third inning here already four to our score. Fouled away. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. He wasn't even close to swinging right there. That was a stone cold take. Two. The second for one. No, it's right past him. Luckily for them, the left fielder retrieves this ball quickly. Well, it's really hard to complain about this one because that's one of the hardest double plays to turn. The first baseman has to deal with the runner headed to second, and he sometimes shields you from throwing where you want to make the throw. They should have made it, but that's a tough play all the way around. So following the error, it's now runners at first and second. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Giancarlo Stanton. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. And that fastball's taken but catches the outer third. Hey, two options if you're standing on the bump right now. Have to find a way to punch this guy's ticket or roll a double play. One pitch on its way down the third baseline. So that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Good job of holding up on the low ball there, and it's one and two. And some action now in the Boston bullpen as a right-hander's up and throwing. The one two. Oh, Stanton with a big swing at that one, but he got there a little too quickly, and this is going to hook foul. First and second here with nobody out. And did he hold up in time? A look down, and no, he went around. It's strike three. At the plate, Luke Voigt. He reached out a single in his first try. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Now the 1 0 is laid off for ball two. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. High in the air out to center field. Pilar is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Now batting, Hector Carey. Standing in, Gary Sanchez. Two on, two out for him here in the third. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Right down Broadway that time. Strike one. We're only in the third inning, and his pitch count is above 60. That's not being too efficient with your pitches. Two men are on with two men out. And he falls behind 0 and 2.
One and two to the Yankees catcher. Sent on the ground out to second. He's got it. Throw on to first, and the Yankee threat goes by the boards as the inning is over. Yanks strand a pair, but they still lead this one four to two. Here's J.D. Martinez, and he's off to a hot start in this one. Homered his first time around. Most good breaking ball hitters will hit good breaking balls. And that last at bat, that was a pretty good pitch that was down in the zone. And he handled it really nice. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. Well, Yankee Stadium, of course, features a number of nods to the great history of the organization and its legendary players, but apparently when you hit 52 home runs as a rookie, you rightfully get your own cheering section built in your name. Just two simple words. All rise! Aaron Judge burst onto the scene. And what's really cool about the judges' chambers, all of those seats you're looking at right there are all given towards community organizations, charities, and even Little League team. So the judges' chamber. Here's a fly ball well hit. Going back is the right fielder. Gone. He finds the short porch for a home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His second home run of the game as it's trimmed to a 4-3 game now. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. Here's Xander Bogerns now. Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. Now that third baseman, Rafael. Devers. Here now is Rafael Devers. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Now the pitch. And he takes a cold strike, 0 and 1. Quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 2. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. And a good throw just beats him. Devers is retired, two down now. Well, you know you made a real nice pitch when you bounce it in the dirt and you still get the hitter to swing at it. That tells me that there's a lot of deception in that pitch right now. Stepping in, Kevin Pillar. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The pitch. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Pilar is usually more of a threat when facing left-handers like this. The right-handers tend to give him a bit more trouble, so we'll see if that trend continues. And they go away here. It's a cold strike. Nothing in two. Now a fastball here that will wisely lay off, and it's one and two. Here's the pitch. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. He started this guy backwards, a couple of off-speed pitches early, followed by back-to-back -back heaters. He can go either way he wants to go right now. Throw on to Fort takes care of him, and the inning is over. And thanks to the home run, the Red Sox draw a step closer. Bottom of the fourth coming up. The Yankees four and the Red Sox three. Welcome back to the Bronx as we check in with Heidi. 
Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far, and flat out he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've already worked out three walks, so he feels as though that kind of willingness to let the opposition work themselves into trouble will continue to result in good things for them on the scoreboard. All right, Heidi, thank you. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And standing in is the veteran outfielder, Brett Gardner. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. That's a ball. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down, or he won't be out here very long. The 1-0. It's in there for strike one. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Three and one now to Brett Gardner. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. The 3 1. He has swung on and missed a full count now. Usually you see chases outside the zone on off speed stuff like sliders, breaking balls, and change ups. But to chase a fastball that far outside the zone tells me this hitter's not seeing it well at all. Devers has it. And a long throw across the diamond gets him. That's a nice play. And definitely worth another look with our show track data. Great reaction from the hot corner to make the backhand stop. And then he unleashes that very strong throw while in the air all the way across the diamond. He's going to be smiling about that one. So back to the top of the Yankee order. Digging in, Gio Urshela. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Bases are empty. One man out. Liner toward right center. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. The relay, but he'll be in there with a double. Well, Matt, as we take a look at his line here, he might not know all the specifics, but he knows he hasn't been pitching all that well in this one. Sometimes it happens. You start a game and never completely get into that rhythm. Seems to be the case here. Here's Miguel Andujar now. As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, 1-0. One, oh. one for two in the ball game thus far. Ball and no strikes. Here it is. High in the air out towards shallow right. Verdugo waits on it. He's got it, and there are two down now. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Next for the Yankees, the second baseman, DJ. So two are gone now in the Yankee half of the fourth, and that'll bring up DJ LeMahieu. First pitch coming here it is there's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike he set the 0 1 five hits and no errors for the Yankees so far cut fastball that time but he doesn't bite and now it's three and one this is a spot you'd like to be in as a good hitter runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor the set and the three one pitch fastball too high ball four The batter, the right field, 
Here's big Aaron Judd. And after that quick walk, is it fair to wonder if this starter is beginning to show signs of getting tired? Yeah, that could be the case, Matty. Sometimes you just lose your focus, lose your command, but it'll be real important for him to get it back as this next hitter walks up to the plate. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Right on, but this is foul down toward the box at third. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Yeah, and that splitter is normally the go-to pitch to this guy, but it really hasn't shown that good downward action that he usually has. He needs to get back to finishing it out front. Two and one, here it is. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Martinez on the run. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Yanks strand a pair, and it remains a 4-3 game. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. And from the on deck circle into the batter's box comes Christian Vasquez. First pitch on its way. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. Hey, there's not a lot you can do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out front. I like the idea of taking it and making the pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. Good spot for the change there, and that'll knock things up at two and two. Although he doesn't use that pitch too much, if he's able to steal some strikes early in the count, could be something they have to think about. Line to the right side. Down the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Now here's the pitch. Four foul balls in this A-B. Pitcher cannot find anywhere to go to put this guy away. Ready with another 2-2. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Toward the line and right. Into a slide and he makes a great catch for the first down. That was a beautiful sliding catch for sure. So worth another look with show track. And I think it's evident that the excellent route efficiency up in the high 90s was the main reason he was able to get to that one. So one away here with the bases empty. And Michael Chavis will step in at the plate. To show you how strong this guy is, he hit that last off-speed pitch over 400 feet so the pitcher wasn't supplying most of the power there that's right, that's this is a really strong hitter one ball no strikes to count now the 1 0 out of play off to the right it's one and one we're in the fifth inning of a four to three ball game here Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. And it's fouled away. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. And this is swung on and missed. So it's two up, two down to start the fifth. I'll tell you, he's showing no signs of tiring right now. Still looks razor sharp from what I can tell, so I think he might last a while longer if he can keep this up.
to the plate now Mitch Moreland as he'll take a look at ball one comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball one and one. Three runs, three hits, and one error on the Boston line score. Two and one to the Red Sox first baseman. Now here it comes. Now a curveball here, nowhere close. That's in the dirt. It's three and one. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. The three one. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Well, he walked him on five pitches, but that last pitch was really good. He missed down, but only by a hair. When a hitter has a 3-1 count, he can wait until he gets a pitch he loves. Back to the top of the order now. And digging into bat next, it'll be Jose Peraza. First offering on its way. And a changeup here misses off the corner to start him out. It's ball one. He fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Breaking pitch and this bounces in front of the catcher. Well we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But hey I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Now the 2-1. out with the man at first. Line to the right side. In there, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. As we take a look at the pitch count, you can see that it's not that high. But you have to wonder maybe if the heat is taking it out on this guy a little bit. The weather can be the great equalizer, especially when the temps are starting to rise like this. Standing in now, Alex Verdugo, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Right side, but it's well foul. Ready with the 1-1. One, one. And a curveball here. Good pitch, but a better take, and it's to 2-1 and one now. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Two down, runners at first and second. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Swing and a miss for strike three. Pulled the string on him that time and the inning is over. Boston strands a couple. Score holds at 4-3. Ryan Weber, the six foot one inch right hander, will be the one to get the call from the bullpen here. Ryan Weber. Digging in once again, Torres. The designated hitter, Weber.
first pitch of the at bat. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Chasing after it is Verdugo. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. First pitch on its way. And right into the shift. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Well, look out. Hot shot to third, and there are two away. Now back. Now back. First base thing. Blue. Four. Ready for another shot now. Luke Voigt. He's one for two in the ball game. Here's the first pitch to him. Taken, and that one catches the bottom part of the strike zone. Hey, they say solos won't kill us, but I got to believe this guy's looking to do exactly that. The windup and the 0-1. Bat explodes as this has popped up. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Bombers. But they hold on to a 4-3 lead. J.D. Martinez will stand in looking for home run number three as we take it back to inning number four. And this was his second home run of the game as he's been dialed in so far in this one. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Heading out towards shallow right. And that's in there. Base hit. Well, that's what's so disappointing as a pitcher, d -Row. You make a really good pitch, and yet this guy's so big and so strong, he's able to muscle it into right field for a base hit. Yeah, you hand your batting gloves to the first base coach right there, and you thank your lucky stars. That's a nice A.B. And that brings in Xander Bogarts as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. No hits to this point. One pitch. Hits are even right now at five aside. Oh, it's hit to third. Five, four, three, and they turn the double play. Well, they got the tying run on base, but one ground ball later, and it's gone. He's going to be frustrated with himself after that. Two men are gone now in the Boston half of the sixth, and that brings up the third baseman, Rafael Devers. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. This is pulled into right. That gets down, and the inning continues. So we'll go at least one at bat deeper into the top of the sixth after that two out success. Up next for the Red Sox, the center fielder, Kevin Pillar. Into the box, Kevin Pillar. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. 0. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The 1-0. It's laid off, but in there for strike one. And it looks like the Yankees will have a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. 4-3 our score here as we play inning number six. In the dirt here. Good job there as the count goes to one and two.
working for the punch out and the offering. Hit back up the middle. Throw over to LeMahieu at second, and that'll do it. Red Sox leave one. Still down a run. It's 4-3. Now at the plate, Gary Sanchez. Leading one for two. For He's singled and grounded the out so far. Gary Sanchez. Here's the first pitch to him. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Hey, if you're able to blow a first pitch fastball by a guy, got to believe that pitch is coming again right here. And it's 0-2 to Sanchez. Oh, and two count. Here's the pitch. And he fouls this one off. And smart to lay off there as the fastball misses. It's one and two now. And a good pitch here, but this is taken for a ball as the count moves to two and two now on the Yankee catcher. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Outside in a full count, three and two. It's been a great job so far by the eight hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. Here comes the payoff pitch. Fouled off. A payoff pitch one more time. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Ranging back is Pilar. On the warning track, he makes the catch. The center fielder, number 11, Brett Gardner. Into the box now, Brett Gardner. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. There's a strike at the knees, 0 and 1. One out, nobody on. Bold strike, 0 and 2. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, that's back to back really good sliders. I wouldn't be surprised if he threw another one right here. Looks like he's got that slide ball in his back pocket right now. The one two fouled away. He got a mistake right there but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0 2 count heater caught too much of the zone. Again another foul ball. Bases are empty one man out. Another one sent foul. They'll try again one two. That's lifted the other way out to left. Martinez has a read on it. He's got it and there are two down now. Now batting number twenty nine. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Gio Urshela. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. And here's a fastball called for strike one. And this is high, a ball and a strike. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Take a step back right here. After three fastballs in a row, there is no chance he throws you a fourth. Bases are empty here with two men out. 
swung on and missed and that's the final out of the inning. So the Yanks go one two three but they hang on to a one run lead four to three. Jonathan Holder is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 56. Jonathan Holder. So digging in now, Christian Vasquez. His career numbers against this pitcher. He's hitless in three at bats. Christian Vasquez. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Down the left field line and deep. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. That's over, but low. It's a ball and a strike. 1 and 2 to the Red Sox catcher. The 1 2. Still even at two and two. Pitch on the way. Okay. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. This is popped up. Voigt has room in foul territory. Makes the play one away. Now that doesn't need a hitter. Michael Chavis. At the plate, Michael Chavis. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Nothing fires me up more Not than bad. watching an offensive Nothing. player stay inside a baseball and drive it the other way. Late now, Mitch Moreland, as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's set. Here's the 0-1. One ball, one strike. We're in the seventh inning now of a 4 3 ball game. Takes a look at a change up there, and it's a ball and two strikes now. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. That's a big strike out there with the tying run over at first base. Now, with two outs, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that guy home. Probably need a ball in the gap to give him a chance. So now to the plate, Jose Peraza, as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The 1 0. Hit hard on the ground towards second. That gets through, and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dan. Sent it back right where it came from. So they'll go to the bullpen now, and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Alex Verdugo. It's been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. 
Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. From the stretch, there's the sinker to start him out, missing down and away for ball one. That evens it up one and one. One and one the pitch. And here's a sinker that causes him to back away as that just about got him. That's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters away from the plate to make them a little bit uncomfortable. Now you can go inside or outside. I like that purpose pitch. All even now, two and two. Here's the two and two. Big spot, two out, possible tying and go ahead runs on base. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Gardner is there. He's got it to end the inning as they'll strand the tying run in scoring position. Boston strands a couple. They still trail it here four to three. Ryan Brazier gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Ready to go for the last half of the inning and set to go as the third baseman, Miguel Andujar. Miguel. Here comes the first pitch. One, here's the pitch. I got a ball, one strike. Two balls, one strike. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to two and two now. A last two pitches back to back off speed then he's late on the fastball he could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound popped high in the air and he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one now that that's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone they took him up the ladder and he couldn't get up to it so that was an easy pop out well executed pitch there one gone here in the Yankee seventh and that'll bring in DJ LeMayhew he's set and the pitch and he popped him up back into foul territory behind first and no one can get there he'll try it again Ready with the nothing in one pitch. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. And now the Red Sox will get a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. One out, nobody on. Took him right up the ladder that time, and it's one and two. I'm going to need to see a better game plan out of the hitter right here. That ball was at his eyes. Popped him up. Vasquez is right there. Two gone. Now batting right fielder. Aaron. 
at the plate, Aaron Judge. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First pitch on its way. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. One oh pitches is slider swung on and missed one and one. Now the pitch and it's fouled away. One and two, here it comes. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. And it remains a 4-3 game. Chad Green takes the mound now, and it appears he's being brought in to face the right-handed batter who waits next. Yeah, you usually don't hear the term righty specialist very often, but that's kind of how they're using him here, Matt. Most hitters have a harder time against pitchers of the same handedness, so we'll see if this move pans out. The left fielder, J.D. Martino. First pitch coming, here it is. And a ball, 1-0. So the Bronx Bombers leading by the slimmest of margins late in this one and trying to hang on and earn the series sweep. One of the keys if you want to sweep a team is you're going to have to get some big outs in that seventh, eighth, and ninth inning. They're leading by a run as we're going towards the end of this game. Now it's time for the pitching staff to put this one. Late swing, but he's still able to get a lot of this one out toward deep right field. Judge is on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. Xander Bogart. So stepping in, Xander Bogart. We could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And a strike called at the knees, nothing in one. And if they do close this one out, it would be kind of a statement sweep because, as we've mentioned, they're playing a first place team on the other side. No doubt about it. Fan base is excited. They are all out in full force coming to the ball. Meanwhile, now, this is trouble down that right field line. This should be extra bases. And there's your tying run at second base with a one out now double. The third baseman, Rafael Rafael Devers the next to bat as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Well this one's been a bit of a head scratcher despite their home run production today. Yeah Matty V this is one of those that you kind of scratch your head and you go wow you hit the ball all the ballpark but still not enough offense it just goes to show you this sport is still Dero all about pitching. It is it's, it, it begins and ends on that bump right there and there's just so many facets to the game defense base running it's just not the team that hits the most home runs is going to win the ball. Game. And swinging 2 0, but he missed the splitter 2 and 1. Good luck with that pitch. That pitch is an absolute nightmare. Almost unhittable. Nasty downward action. High 80s velocity. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at 2 and 2. Looking for the K. Here's the pitch. And that's in there for a called third strike on the split fingered fastball. Two away. It's never a good look to strike out looking, but it's way worse when you do it with a guy in scoring position. Those are the times you really want to see a guy battle and at least put the ball in play. Stepping in now, Kevin Pillar. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point.
sent on the ground out to second. LeMahieu with a great stop. Got him. That was exceptional. He got the out and prevented the runner from having a chance to score. Any questions as to why this guy's a gold glover? Didn't think so. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Keith Henry is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 37, Keith Henry. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And striding forward, the designated hitter, Torres. From the stretch, here's the pitch. A high fastball is in there. Hembry was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. Swing and a miss, and he needs a little discipline here, 0-2. Oh it's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Taken off the outside as the breaking ball couldn't catch the corner. Definitely not what you're trying to do here. 0-2 with a curveball. You see a lot of guys elevate a fastball like that in this situation. But a curve like that is just asking to get punished. The 1-2. Misses for the second ball. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. And now pitch on the way. From 0-2 to 3-2, what a great at-bat to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. Sent on the ground, but right into the shift. And that's a base hit, so a chance for some important insurance here to kick off the bottom of the eighth. That's the difference in today's games. Pitchers will throw any pitch in any count, but the batter was able to deliver on a 3-2 breaking ball. To the plate now, Giancarlo Stanton. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Hard liner to center field. Galar is right there, one down. Next to the Yankees. The first baseman. Luke. Boyd. Into the box. Luke Voigt is working on a one for three thus far. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And that swung on and missed for strike one. close with the slider there but it's one and one four three our score here as we play the eight swing and a miss and it's a ball and two strikes here and there's a fastball well off the plate inside And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at. And if not, it's ball four anyways. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. Well, he battled to get it to a 3-2 count, but that pitch wasn't even close. 
Now he's got a man on with one out, so he's got to focus on trying to get the ground ball. So it's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out, and that'll bring up Gary Sanchez. From the belt, kicks and deals. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. There are a couple of points in every game that could decide winning or losing. This is one of those critical spots. Time to make some great pitches. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Chasing after it is Pilar. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. The batter, the center fielder, Brett Gardner. Big spot here. First and second, two men gone. And up next, the left handed hitting Brett Gardner. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And nearly a three run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. And this one's in the dirt. Runners may have thought about it, but they'll stay put, and the count moves to two and one. The set and the two and one. And he fouls this one off. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Yanks strand a pair, but they hold on to a 4 3 lead. Aroldis Chapman comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. All set for the start of the inning. And from the on deck circle into the batter's box comes Christian Vasquez. Tough situation. Down one here on the road, trying to score off one of the game's top closers. They've got the work cut out for him. Broken bat as this ball is hit on the ground. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Oh, that'll make you smile as a pitcher. You make a good pitch, you, you blow the guy's bat up, and then you make the play yourself. In your head, you're thinking, nice swing, me. Stepping in, Michael Chavis. He singled his last time up. First pitch of the at bat on its way. In there, and it's 0 1. And 1 and 1 as this one's in on the hands. And there's ball two now. At the knees for a called strike, and it's back to even at two and two. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. Here now the 2-2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. And a left-handed batter waiting on deck, though there's a good shot he might get pulled back. Fouled off. Next 3-2. He is swung on and missed. He got him. 
Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. At the plate, Mitch Moreland. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Now the 1 0 is offered at and missed for the first strike. We're going to see him throw that hard fastball early and often. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Swing and a miss, and they're up against it now as they're down to their final strike of the afternoon. Now the Yankee Stadium crowd, 52,000-plus on their feet. And right into the shift, reined in. And he'll step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. Excellent work putting the finishing touches on this one. Picking up save number 30 now on the year. Nice job from him. A one-run finish, 4-3, to three, the final tally today. The New York Yankees took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Jordan Montgomery earned his fifth win of the year. Nate Valdi was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. Aroldis Chapman wraps it up for the save, his 30th. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian, we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time. Our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Yankees, four runs on six hits. No error as they left eight men on base. For the Red Sox, three runs on nine hits, one error, they left six men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 59 minutes. Our paid attendance at Yankee Stadium this afternoon, 47.